14 epic world records. The master of the charity stripe. Some of the greatest who ever played the game of basketball struggled with free throws. Shaq notoriously had a career average that was barely over 50% and once missed all 11 of his attempts in one game. As dominant as LeBron James is, even he has only shot 74% from the line. Ted St. Martin, a man who has never played a game in the NBA, could probably teach these guys a thing or two. On April 28, 1996, over a 7 hour and 29 minute span, he shot and made a miraculous, incomprehensible 5,221 free throws in a row, nearly doubling the record at the time. To be fair, the man who set that record, Tom Amberry, had made 2,750 consecutively in a span of 12 hours, but he was halted by a janitor who had to close up for the night. Maddow's Jump Robbie Maddow Madison has made a prosperous career out of being one of the world's best motorbike stunt riders. In early 2012, he got to go to Istanbul and got to be Daniel Craig's stunt double for a scene in Skyfall, a performance that would win Madison a SAG award. Maddow did a backflip over a tower bridge in London while it was open 25 feet wide and cruised a wave on a beach in Tahiti with a modified dirt bike. The modern day Evil Knievel earned an epic record on March 29, 2008 in Melbourne when he jumped 351 feet from one ramp to the other, making it the longest successful motorcycle ramp jump ever. Santa Room Only Ho ho ho. On December 27, 2014, a sea of red gathered at Nagar Stockton Tamperon Ground in Kerala, India for a good cause. 18,112 people, some who had a shift later that day at a nearby mall, came together dressed as Old St. Nick, setting the record for the largest gathering of Santa Claus ever achieved. The event was organized by local charities to raise funds for the needy. There is even a similar record involving Santa's elves that were set just a month earlier than the Santa record. On November 25, 2014, 1,762 people gathered in Bangkok to establish the bar for the largest gathering of Santa's elves. The number would have been higher, but 14 participants were disqualified for not wearing the correct costume. Don't breathe. If you've ever tried holding your breath underwater, you surely understand the limits. A few minutes is good, five is impressive, and if you could hold your breath, say, for the length of this video, it would be amazing. With this knowledge, it's hard to believe how long the record holder was able to hold his breath. On February 28, 2016, during the 17th Mediterranean Dive Show, professional freediver at Lake Stay Gruov Rendrell held his breath for an unbelievable 24 minutes and 3.45 seconds while underwater, setting a new record and letting the world know that his lungs are either alien or made of steel. Human Tow Truck you can't describe many people as human tow trucks because most people can't physically move vehicles. Kevin Fast laughs at these people and probably has a hard time understanding why everyone else is so weak and mortal-like. On September 15, 2008, Fast pulled a fire truck that weighed 126,200 pounds across a level 100-foot road. He did so on live with Regis and Kelly, leaving no doubt of his record-breaking performance. The host, along with many other people, assumed that the achievement would stand for years to come. It did, but not nearly as long as everyone may have expected. On August 15, 2016, a truck weighing in at 150,112 pounds was towed the same distance by none other than Kevin Fast. Like a good bottle of wine, Fast apparently only gets better with age. King of the Mile for years, people thought that running a four-minute mile was impossible. Roger Bannister disproved this theory when he achieved a mile in three minutes and 59.4 seconds on May 6, 1954. The famous event triggered a rash of runners to try to topple the four-minute mark. Today, the fastest mile ever recorded is 3 minutes 43.13 seconds. Moroccan man Hishem Garouche made this time in Italy on July 7, 1999. Aaron Yotter holds the current record for the fastest mile run backwards, with a blazing mark of 5 minutes and 54.25 seconds. A solid time when even running the right way. Next Level Aldrin Garcia wasn't having a good February in 2011. He had started the month by knocking himself out and being hospitalized. 
After a quick recovery, he gathered himself and headed for Las Vegas in the Maloof High Ollie Challenge. During the contest, Garcia unexpectedly cemented his name in the record books when he ollied a ridiculous 45 inches, setting a world record that has stood for the last six years. This impressive mark serves as a welcome reminder that, no matter how down things may seem, as long as you keep your head held high and move forward, your fortunes are bound to improve. High Degree of Difficulty London teenager Maxwell Day, like many kids, had long been a fan of the Guinness Book of World Records. Unlike most, however, Max has an unusual ability that landed him in last year's edition of the publication. Without experiencing any pain or discomfort, Day can rotate his feet nearly back and forth. He can turn his left foot 140 degrees and his right foot an incredible 157 degrees, shattering the previous record of 120 degrees held by Moses Lanham. Moses shouldn't feel too bad, as he still holds the incredibly specific record of fastest time to walk 20 meters with feet facing backwards, which he accomplished in 19.59 seconds. Basic Transportation Some people have cars, others take the bus, and some ride their bikes around. You don't, however, see too many people riding unicycles on the daily. Really, how far could you even get riding one of those wheels around? For most, not very far. For Sam Wakeling, hundreds of hundreds of miles. Over a span of one day in late September 2007, Wakeling covered a distance of 281.85 miles in Wales, earning him the record for the farthest distance traveled on a unicycle in 24 hours. For 105.57 of those miles, the British man's feet never hit the native soil, earning him the longest continuous ride ever and two records for the price of one. Supercat Feline Phenom Alley started from humble beginnings before soaring her way into the record books. Her owner, Samantha Martin, rescued the emaciated feline from a Chicago alley along with three other kittens. Martin, who was a trainer with cat performance troupe Acrocats and apparently not a very imaginative pet namer, noticed Allie's propensity for leaping and started honing her pet skills. Then, on October 27, 2013, in her hometown, Allie set the mark for the longest jump by a cat when she leapt 182.88 centimeters, or 6 feet, from one platform to another. Up, down, repeat. Push-ups have to be one of the oldest forms of muscle building exercise. All you need is two working arms, some muscle, and solid ground. Of the billions of people that have been doing push-ups for thousands of years, it's safe to say that none have done more at an accelerated pace than Swiss man Roman Dosenbach. On November 29, 2016, he set the record for most push-ups in one hour with a remarkable 2,392 up-downs. Dosenbach trained for a reported four years to break the record balancing act. Once comfortable on their motorcycles, a lot of people like to perform stunts, like popping a wheelie. Sometimes riders even gather their courage enough to sit on the handlebars mid-action. Ender Wright took this act of bravery to world record heights when he popped a wheelie while taking a seat on the front of his bike, going a ridiculous 108 miles per hour, setting a dangerous but incredibly epic record that most out there will never even come close to attempting. Smurfs everywhere. On June 8, 2009, a group called Joker's Masquerade and people from Swansea University in the UK all gathered for one purpose, to set a record for most people dressed as Smurfs in one place. The guidelines were relatively straightforward. An individual had to have their face, arms, and legs painted blue to be counted towards the grand total. 2,510 people met this criteria on that day, setting one of the weirdest world records imaginable. Sony Pictures organized a mass, worldwide gathering of the Smurfs on June 25, 2011 as a publicity stunt to celebrate the release of the Smurfs film. 4,891 people from 11 different countries participated, making it the most people dressed as Smurfs at various gatherings within 24 hours. Seeing Eyes One day, Kim Goodman had a distinct misfortune of being hit on the head with a hockey mask. As fate would have it, her reaction has made Goodman's face a rather famous image. Her eyes popped way out of their sockets, and she had discovered a dormant talent, if such thing can be called a talent. An optometrist in Istanbul, Turkey, measured her eye protrusion on November 2, 2007, and found out that her eyes came out 0.47 inches out of her sockets, a world record. 